Well, <laughs> hello. Uh, thank you so much for inviting me to your house. Oh, what a... How did you make such a lovely table, given all the conditions that we have this year? It's, it's just beautiful. What a warm feeling. Thank you so much for having me here. Uh, yeah, we're, we're at that point in the, serv in this, in the Passover Seder. Uh, you've already done the, the, the washing of the hands, and you've done the, the, the parsley and the salt water, and I, I'm noticing that you just took the, chala, the, the, the matzah out and you're lifting it up. That, where, where'd you get matzah this, you know, this year of all years? Isn't that kind of incredible? to have it here. So hold it up. There's a prayer that you say. If, 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 if you have a moment, I'll share a couple of things about it. It's, this is the oldest prayer that we have in our, in our prayer book, uh, other than things that are in the, the, from the Torah. Um, this is the, the prayer that really encapsulates all of the major themes of what Passover is all about. So you hold it up and you say, Halach ma'anya, this is the bread of affliction. Diachalu uh, achavatana bar adam mitzrayim, which our ancestors ate in the land of Egypt. Kol dichvin yeteva yechul, all who are hungry, let them enter and eat. Kol ditzrich yeteva yifsach, all who are in need, let them come and celebrate the, the, the Pesach, the Passover with us. Um, this year we are here, <laughs> here, <laughs> the Shana Haba'abar Adi Israel. next year in the land of Israel. Hashatah this year we're enslaved, the Shana Haba'abar next year we will be free people. Um, so I want to take some of these pieces apart, the bread of affliction that we're eating. You know, this year in particular, You eat what you got. Whatever there is, that's, that's what you eat, and you find a way to be happy with it. You go into the cupboard, you go back to the back of the freezer, and we've, we've learned a lot from that this year. This is the bread of affliction. This is what our ancestors ate, because they really didn't have any other choices. Um, and they were in the very narrow place in Egypt, and. And when we eat this, we kind of feel like them. We kind of, we, we, we really relate to them. And we say something, you know, all who are hungry, and there are plenty of people hungry all over, but especially now, come, let them enter and eat. This week, it's a time to share your food, to find some way to share food with others because you want them to be a part of it. Even if they can't be in the same room with you you, you, you somehow want to invite others to be a part of what's going on here, to get some, some of the nourishment that you're getting from Passover. All who are in need, all who are in need of knowing that hope is so powerful, all who are in need of knowing that tyrants can be overthrown, all who are in need of knowing that freedom is there, Come, celebrate Passover with us. You don't need to be Jewish. Come, hear this story. The story of a God who listens to a people who are pained and who teaches us to speak truth to power and who shows us that there can be a promised land. And that road isn't easy, but we get there when we hold hands and walk together. Um, all or any, let them come and celebrate the Passover. This year we are here. And how do we get here? And what is here? What is here anyways? And who are we here with? But next year, in our own land, the land of Israel. Wow. This year we're enslaved. And some of us feel a little bit more enslaved now than we ever have before. Next year we'll be free. Our people have said that. For thousands, thousands of years we've said that. And it gave us hope. And it, this, these words are in many ways the nourishment for our soul. We're going to have the, the questions now, you know, the, the fear kashas, um, the, the questions that we ask. You can do the ones in the book or you can come up with your own questions. Um, you don't have to answer them. It's more important to come up with a good question. But I want to ask you, 
how are we going to grow as individual people because of this horrible, horrible disease that we're experiencing this year? How are we going to grow from it? What are some things that you've learned? How have you made yourself better during these last few weeks? Um, if the world is really all in pieces, how will we know how to put it together the right way? And what, what, what guidelines will we have for putting it, to be, putting it together in an even better way than it was before? These are some questions for this year, this Passover in 5780, huh. 2020. What a Passover to remember. Anyways, I'm, I'm really happy, I'm, I'm eager to hear some of your answers and, and also to hear some of the questions that you're going to ask. Have a wonderful Passover, everybody. Bye-bye.